being a mom is challenging some of the time and maybe even many times, but it's something that I feel that I've been called to do and I truly love it. I, I have a lot to accomplish every day. I've got to get six kids dressed, six kids fed for breakfast, six kids in and out of the car multiple times, six kids lunch, six kids supper, and then baths or showers, and then we start the laundry and the dishes, and it's always a lot. Well, Robbie, my husband, we've been married for about 13 years, and we're really best friends, and we do so much together. I do a blog each night, and I write the words, and he does the pictures. Everything that we do is just kind of a team effort. Having a baby is such a wonderful time, and, and we've always felt comfortable at Baptist. I've been fortunate enough that I've had the same doctor deliver all six of my children, so that's a really special, neat experience. Baptist did an excellent job of making sure that I was comfortable. I was able to use that time kind of to recuperate a little bit more. So when we did leave, we were ready to start full speed ahead and getting back to our life. Since we've had the kids, it's made us want to take them different places. And we're probably more passionate about travel because we're getting to show it to six little faces and see their eyes light up as they see and enjoy something brand new. Reagan is eight and she's been to 48 states. And then our youngest is racking up the states too. He's been on a road trip all the way to California and we made a big circle. So it won't be long before he catches up with his sister. We really do want our kids to experience just so much. And there's so much to learn and to see. And they're soaking all of that up. And they may not remember the facts and the dates, but they're gonna remember those experiences that we made together. When we decided to homeschool, I probably thought things would be a little bit different than they actually are. I had imagined the classical music playing and all the children sitting at their desk happily, drinking some water and doing calculus, but it's not like that at all. There's a baby underfoot and there's Legos and toys on the floor and, and we're learning, but it's not how I'd envisioned us learning. Once a month, we meet with all of our homeschool friends and we always try to incorporate a service project. My children really enjoyed going to the Rice Depot. It's a place where they put food together to pass out to the needy in Arkansas. When we walked in the door, my kids probably didn't realize all the food that would be here and all the boys and girls that this food could feed. But I hope they're doing small things like this. They're able to see that we have so much and we can give so much to other people who are in need. My oldest son, Anderson, said this was so much fun. And I said, you know, Anderson, serving people, what we did today was more important than school. And he thought about it for a few minutes and he thought, hmm, no math, no phonics. And he decided, I want to serve people every day. I want to serve my children every day so I can show them the love of God. And I think that's really important to me. And even though there's ups and downs of being a mom, serving my children and pointing them to, in the direction of God is what I am called to do.